I've been a Baha'i since 1976. I've seen many, many incidents throughout that time, prior to the upheavals even on the internet, of things not being what appears to be. At times, when we have to deal with Iran, and we want to denounce for political purposes the Iranian fanatical government or whatever, how do we do that? Reagan needed a bludgeon with which to beat Iran, and the Baha'i faith was most convenient for his issues. The Baha'is know they can use the governments along those lines when they need them. The Universal House of Justice of the Organized Baha'i Faith knows how to use the self-interest of the political unit, whether it's U.S. or certainly Israeli. There, there's a very long history of Baha'i involvement with uh, political authority of whatever stripe. Shoghi Effendi many times met with the Israeli leaders of his day. Part of the reason Baha'is don't proselytize in Israel has to be related to that. Okay. I've seen the Universal House of Justice or the Baha'i Administration present itself as one thing many, many times when it's something else. I think most U.S. politicians don't have a clue and they don't really understand the extent to which life as it exists and functions in a Baha'i community in the United States is counter to the base, many of the basic fundamental human rights that uh, Americans think as uh, sacred. The, the most crucial thing to it is complete and absolute obedience, which gives it the power to mold, manipulate, shape, sculpt the personalities minds and hearts of its followers. People who are knowledgeable about ideas, feel comfortable and live in that realm, they're the ones who are persecuted and are perceived as a threat to the Baha'i administration. So Baha'i history, right from the beginning, has always been rewritten, reinterpreted, remade. And uh, that only continues today, and it has become more ruthless in the last decade or so, where we have Juan Cole, University of Michigan, tenured professor, being interrogated by uh, basically thought police from uh, uh, auxiliary board members of the United States Baha'i community, and questioned about his thinking and ideas and beliefs and, and uh, pressure put on him to change his views and so forth. Many people talk about harassing phone calls, email, internet attacks of a whole variety, personal slander, abuse. It's very much in the self-interest of uh, the organized Baha'i faith to uh, obscure and downplay and conceal what it's done to people like Juan Cole, other academics, people just on a, on a more average kind of level of life, uh, with not an academic background, have been treated the same way. There are many different shades of opinion and thought. We take that as normal and natural, and yet it is the, has been the emphasis of the Baha'i administration that that should not be the case with Baha'i faith. Their whole focus and emphasis is on obedience from the death of Abdul Baha on, a self-serving and increasingly coercive emphasis. They're manipulating and, use, and, and influencing how major search engines arrange and uh, display information. Uh, there's still always censorship going on. What people are reading online has been vetted or screened in one way or another. Every uh, Haifa Baha'i website is very, very carefully censored and manipulated. I uh, can't even begin to tell you to what extent. It's unbelievable to me. The non-Baha'i has no clue of what they're looking at. What they're looking at on the internet 
has been so thoroughly screened and sanitized as to create a certain perception. Any voice of, of disagreement, of exception, uh, disobedience as they conceive it, who doesn't toe the party line, is not allowed to go uh, undiscredited. Certainly, the idea that the Baha'i administration is run by and orchestrated by people who are not elected and who have entirely different purposes and motives from those that are publicly proclaimed to the American Baha'i community and others around the world, that idea has occurred to many, many people, not just myself. It may give you some inkling, a further idea of the difference between the public image of the Baha'i Faith and what many people have experienced. I've seen the Universal House of Justice or the Baha'i Administration present itself as one thing many, many times when it's something else.